you probably have your most frequently used apps in the dock already. As you know, you can also add folders to the right side of the dock. But not just the boring folders. You might have already noticed my folder, which is called productivity. There I have aliases of applications. Let me show you how it's done and how you can make the dock much more useful by adding a collection of smart folders to the right side. By default you should see here on the downloads folder. You can click on it and see which files you have recently downloaded. Very useful is that you can drag and drop from here and move the file somewhere where you want it. But it also works the opposite way, so I can quickly get rid of something from the desktop by putting it in the downloads folder. There are many better techniques how to clean the Mac desktop. If your desktop is constantly overfilled, you should watch my other video about it. It will pop up now on top and it will also be in the description. But one more quick stop at the downloads folder. You have few customizations here. If you right click it, you can switch the view. A lot of people like the grid view, but I am a fan of the fan view. The other thing how to keep it more clean is to display it as a folder. Instead of seeing the most recent document icon, you will have this nice downloads folder. But let's move on to some more exciting stuff. One of my favorites is the applications folder. You can add all applications just by dragging the folder there from Finder. You can get to the applications folder from the computer level if you use the Go menu. But usually you will find this folder in the Finder sidebar, so you can drag it there from the sidebar as well. Now I have access to all of my applications from the dock. Let's switch it to the list view which is more useful if there are many items. Also displayed as a folder. I don't need to be looking at the very first application in the alphabetical order. But how often do you need all the applications? You have your most used in the dock already. You can easily launch any other using Spotlight. The idea here is to create a folder of just a few useful applications which I access often. Like all the Microsoft Office apps. They would fill up the whole dock if I put them on the left. But here, they can be in one single folder. Now let me show you how to do it. First, open the applications folder again. And now create a new folder, maybe on the desktop. We can call it dock applications for example. And now I can simply take any app and drag and drop it into this folder. Since you can't remove any icons from the applications folder, it's automatically creating aliases of these apps. Later in the video, I will show you how to create aliases of files, which is a bit different. There is a key combination to it. But let's finish with the apps and add some more. Now I have a folder of few useful applications. And what I can do with it is to drag it in the dock. And here it is. I will delete the folder from the desktop, it's not needed anymore. This way I have access to a lot of frequently used apps without overfilling the dock. Now let's have a look at documents. We have few interesting options in here as well. First, I can again simply take my whole documents folder or any other folder from the finder and drag it into the dock. It's useless, I can easily reach all of that from finder. But I can again filter the files to make it more useful. First technique is to create a smart folder. Let's open new finder window. I can go to file menu and select new smart folder. But instead I can just start the search here. You should be starting the search at the location from where you want to filter the files. So I will go to my projects folder. Once I type a first letter, it will add this panel of search options. Here I can confirm that I am in the right folder and I will click on the plus button. Instead of the name, choose kind and select the document. Next, to make it even more useful, we will filter it to the most recently used documents. So the plus button again, 
last opened date and here maybe 30 days. Now I have just a selection of few files. I can click on save and it will create a smart folder. It's usually saving to one hidden place on the Mac. Let's put it on the desktop instead so we have easy access to it. I will call it recent documents. And I don't need it in the sidebar, so this should be unticked. Once I save it, I can drag the folder into the doc. Choose how you want to view the files and surely switch it to display as folder. It has a really nice icon for smart folders. And again, you can delete this folder. We don't need it on the desktop anymore. So now I have access to my recently used documents right from the doc. What is cool on that is the fact that it's a smart folder, so everything is automatic. If I open pages, create new document, and now put it in my project folder, the smart folder in the doc will find out I have new recently opened document there and it will display it here as well. You can be very creative with the smart folders. You can for example make folders of newly added images, maybe filter files by a certain application and so much more. But as I promised before, I also want to show you how to create aliases of files. You can create your own folder and add only files you want to have quick access to. But we'll do it in more clever way, without actually moving the files from the original locations. So again, create a folder on the desktop. I will call it working on. And now I can add here whatever I want. I'll open new finder window, search for a file, and I'll take this one for example. Drag it inside the other folder, but don't drop it. Before, press Option and Command keys, both at the same time, and you will notice this small curved arrow to appear. Now you can drop it. The icon also got this curved arrow, which means it's an alias or shortcut to the original file. The original file is still here in the folder. This is just a quick shortcut to it. I can use this technique to as many files I want. And once I'm done, I can again drag this folder into the doc and delete it afterwards. What makes the folder clever is that I got quick access to files I'm currently working on. But once I'm done with something, I can just take it from the doc folder and drop it into the bin. This way, I know I have finished working on that one file. But nothing will happen to the original file, it's still in the folder. You really have limitless options here. You can create folders and fill them with aliases. You can have folders inside of folders. You can have folders with smart folders in them. All the possible combinations. So it's all just a matter of learning these simple skills and then applying them together to your daily workflows. And for that, you have Apple Online Academy here to teach you all of these techniques how you can really master your Mac. If you found this video useful, your like will be much appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, it can't be easier than clicking on the subscribe button. So see you in the next video.